Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields and I want to do a head-to-head. -head. I've got the Ping G30 against the Cobra Fly Z. Um, I thought this would be quite a good one because these have been incredibly popular this year as drivers. You know, some of the, the top selling drivers this year. And I want to do a head-to-head. -head. Now this is the original G30 and the Fly Z I say lower spinning or not lower spinning version you've got the fly z plus so they run they're in the same market they're both the forgiving golf club of both ranges similar designs in the way that they've got the weight at the back right in the middle and at the back the only difference the ping's got the turbulators and the, the cobra has got this uh, speed channel around the face both got these in extra stiff tall shafts which come from the manufacturer uh, 70 gram in the cobra and 65 in the ping exactly the same length and i've cranked both the drivers to 9.5 so as close to a matchup as we can possibly get i'm gonna hit five with the ping five with the cobra stay tuned and we'll have a look at what the results are saying towards the end Okay, so all five there with the pink. I must admit, they were pretty, pretty impressive golf shots. The first four were just like arrows. I've just pushed the last one. Um, let's pull up the Cobra next, see what the differences are, if there is any, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at some figures. So they, I must admit, they were nice, very nice hits. So you'll see an orange line pop up now for the Cobra. Orange for Ricky Fowler. Um, Fly Z, so like I said, it's the Fly Z Plus, which is a low spinning version, as there is the LS Tech for the Ping G30, but these are the, uh, the forgiving version. So let's give this a hit. Same length, same. This is a tiny bit heavier in the shaft, but nothing much. And I'll hit five and see how it gets on. Smashed it. Okay, so there's all five with the Cobra, and I think we've got a clear winner. You might see, you might see it on shot number four, the Cobra. It felt so bad, I almost let go of it on the face. Yet the performance was incredible. I'm going to pull up the numbers and we'll see what the differences are. So there's the ball fights. You've got the Co uh, Ping G30 in the blue and the Cobra in Ricky Fowler orange. Show the ball fights from the side as well. So you can see the orange one, just the Cobra, just maybe just staying that hit for a little bit longer and already you might be able to see signs of which could be the longest. Let's have a look at the figures side by side. So we've got the pings up at the top in blue and the orange cobra in the bottom section. Both in the same lofts, both in the same stiffness of flex, extra stiff. Let's have a look. So club head speed with the ping G30, 113.4, yet with the Cobra, 114.5, so it's picked it a little bit on the speed. The shaft is a tiny bit heavier in this. That should only really do the opposite effect. It should almost slow it down a touch. Uh, ball speed on the Cobra is faster, one mile per hour faster. If we look along the columns, the biggest difference is this spin rate, total spin. With the ping, it was 2,618. And with the Cobra, it was only over 2,000, 2,100. If we look at the carry distance on the Ping G30, it was 284. Yet the Cobra was an incredible 293. At nine yards improvement. It's massive, huge improvement. Nine yards in difference length. Total distance as well then was much longer. 14 yards further for the Cobra. 14 yards for the golf club that would be almost in the same category. Exactly the same category, forgiving. I must admit the golf shots that I hit were very, very good. All 10 of them with both clubs were fantastic, I must admit. There was just that fourth shot with the uh, Cobra that fell from the heel, yet it's the furthest golf shot. First one offline, but the furthest golf shot. So guys, that was a little head-to-head. -head. Ping G30, Cobra Fly Z. 
I was very interested. I didn't think there was going to be that big a difference. Guys, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, click like. Comment down below. I've got a bit of a sweat on. It's getting hot in here in Manchester. Comment down below. You can subscribe by clicking the big link down here. Check me out on social media. Guys, we'll see you all soon. And hopefully I should make a little bit of decision making a bit easier for you in the future. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.